sharing what I wore. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I do upload two new videos every week, every Wednesday and Friday morning, so I hope you'll hit that subscribe button right here and stick around so you don't miss out on any of those new videos. Okay, today I wanna share some outfit ideas. This is what I wore while here, here, literally here, in Sea Island, Georgia, or on Sea Island, Georgia. <laughs> My husband for two years in a row now has taken a group of kids on a Holocaust tour through Europe. And the goal of the program that he started is to educate kids about Nazi Germany, World War II, the Holocaust, all of the atrocities that happened, and it's a real passion project for him. So while he's on that trip, which we think is a little too heavy for the kids right now, I get to take the kids some more fun. So because my husband's not a huge beach person, I usually take the kids to the beach. So last year I took them to South Padre Island, and this year we are in Sea Island, Sea Island, Georgia. And I came to this spot because it had been highly recommended to me from several people and I was looking for something that was domestic so within the US I was looking for something that was easy lots of things for the kids to do I was looking for something that wouldn't take a zillion years to get to I was looking for something that was sort of a one-stop shop where everything was right here and this so far has fit the bill I mean it is like this giant campus of buildings so there's a beach club where you can go swimming and hang out at the pool and then there's beach chairs that you can rent and then there's a fitness center and a spa then there's also another section where we are which we're in these little villas which are separate residences and it's really nice because it's quiet it's private we have our own little apartment with a kitchen and a washer dryer and a dishwasher we've had a lot of fun here uh, i wouldn't say that we've gone crazy when it comes to doing things and going out and going places. I've just tried to keep it really minimal and either stay on property to eat dinner or um, I did actually meet a blogger friend while we're here so that was really fun and we got to go out to dinner and meet her and her husband. But I just wanted to share some of the outfits that I did wear when we did go out and then also just some things I wore during the day on the beach and stuff. The first thing that I wanted to show you guys is a really simple, really great look for summer that's going to keep you very cool, but also looking cool too, you know what I mean? It's a pair of black and white skorts. These are by By The Way, which is a line you can get at Revolve. Very affordable line. I love that they're the skorts. I love the, uh, the black piping and the contrast between the black and the white. I'm a huge black and white fan. And then they're shorts, so it's nice because you don't have to worry about sitting and all that. You get, you're all covered up and taken care of. And then I just paired that with a really simple silky top from Express with a cross front. It has a cap sleeve, which if you have broad shoulders, a cap sleeve is really nice in sort of softening those shoulders. And it's also nice because it just covers up that sort of sometimes problematic part of your arm, that upper arm. So I like that part of this top too. I did buy this top in two colors. It comes in an ivory as well because I thought it would be so versatile for summer and it really has proven to be so far pretty versatile. So I think you guys would like it. And then just some really cool wedges. These are C by Chloe wedges. These wedges are very high, I mean, really high. So obviously you can do something a little bit more modified. It don't have to be this high. I happen to like a really high wedge. I like to look taller, I like to be taller. I'm very short, so I always enjoy wearing wedges. But these are incredibly comfortable for such a high wedge, like the most comfortable wedges for the height for sure, bar none. Look number two I wore when we went out to dinner to meet my friend Beth. Her blog is Style at a Certain Age. So for those of you who have been asking about styling for, you know, 50 plus, 60 plus, 70 plus, I think you should check out Beth's channel. She's got a YouTube channel and she has a blog. And so I think she has a lot of great style advice and I also think she has a really nice style and way about her. She's very sophisticated, she's very classic and elegant, but she's not afraid to take risks. So I think you'll enjoy her channel and I think you'll enjoy her. She's a wonderful woman and I think you guys will like her. So anyway, we went out to dinner to meet her and her husband and I wore this black tank dress 
You guys may remember this from one of my Nordstrom lookbook videos. I'll put a link to that one below. So if you want to see it styled another way, you can check out that video. The tank dress has some ruching on the side, which makes it very figure flattering. It also has straps at the top that are cheated in a little bit, but they still will cover up a bra if you wanted to wear just a regular black bra. The other option, and I talked about these in my bra video, is a bra line called Maria Jo, and they have really pretty bra straps. So you could do a nude one or a black one. So if the straps peep out a little bit, it's totally fine. It still looks really pretty. And then I put a sequined white blazer over it. This is the most subtle sequin that you're ever going to see or buy if you end up buying it. It's by Rachel Zoe and it's a really beautiful blazer. Um, I also have matching pants. I got them originally for the blogger conference in Dallas and then just didn't end up wearing it. So, but I kept it because it was just, they were just two really special pieces. The other thing I like about this blazer is even though it's sequin, sometimes sequins can feel really um, constricted and stiff. It's like a very fluid, fabric and very fluid sequins. So it doesn't have that same stiffness that a lot of sequin pieces might. And it also doesn't have the same like level of sparkle <laughs> that normal sequins has. It feels very daytime appropriate. They're like daytime sequins. The next look I wanted to show you something that I would consider quintessential Sea Island style. It's very preppy and pretty. This is probably the most Sea Island outfit that I wore and that I have. I don't have a lot of that kind of style in my closet, but I did happen to buy this top and I just paired it with a pair of white jeans that I had. These are by AG. Uh, but the top's super cute with the smocking at the top, so it's real fitted through the bust, and then it has the cute little bow sleeves. And I wanted to edge it up a little bit, so I did do kind of the layered jewelry with it, which felt a little bit more edgy just to kind of contrast the sweetness of the top. The next look I wanted to share with you guys is what I'm wearing right now. And it is a t-shirt romper with a little bit of a cutout at the neckline, at the collar. This is so soft and it feels so good against your skin. And it's so comfortable that you literally could sleep in it no problem. And I think you could use it as a cover up. It could be a great just kicking around daytime outfit, especially, you know, on those days when you know you're not gonna be doing much, just around the house, but you still wanna look pulled together. It's just a great lounging outfit. It's very comfortable, very cute. I'm like so obsessed with this fabric that now I wanna order like more from this line and it's called N colon philanthropy. So I'm already like looking at a couple of jumpsuits and other options. It's kind of, it reminds me a little bit of Norma Kamali who I talk about all the time and how much I love the fabric. This is a fabric decision. It's really great fabric. With this romper, I just paired it with these wedges that you guys have seen before. They're Treasure and Bond from Nordstrom and they come in three colors, black, white, and tan. The wedges are really comfortable. You wear the crap out of them, I promise you. The next look I wanted to show you is kind of a fun just set. You guys may remember this one from the summer lookbook that I did. I wanted to bring something that would be a little bit fun, you know, something that makes me feel like I'm on vacation and very tropical. And this floral skirt with the matching bralette really does that. But I didn't really want to wear it alone without something over it because it just felt a little bit too risque for me. Maybe not for you, but for me it did. We just wanted to note that you do not need a bra under the bralette. It's got built-in, very structured boning. So just something to think about. But I also like that, you know, if you're gonna do a little tummy, it's just showing a tiny sliver of the stomach. So anyway, I just threw a white blazer over it and wore that to dinner one night. There's a restaurant here called Southern Thai that's right on the ocean. And it's pretty casual for here, although really every restaurant here is quite swanky so this is the most casual restaurant that they have on the property and even that i think i feel like people are dressing up for so this is what i wore out to the restaurant you know it's just cool it feels very beachy feels very vacation ish same wedges with this outfit just the same tan wedges by treasure and bond the next outfit you also may remember from the summer lookbook it is the white cotton michael stars super gauzy comfortable lightweight maxi dress this is the most beautiful cover-up if you want to do a swim cover-up that's very glamorous 
It is a beautiful dress. It's great for like a family photo if you're doing that all white beach photo and you're looking for something for yourself. And it's got a, um, a, a neckline that's adjustable so you can make it a little bit more narrow and more halter-like or you can loosen it up a little bit and have it a bit more off the shoulder. It's got so much volume and movement when you walk on the beach and the wind is blowing. It's just really lovely. I wanted to talk a little bit about cover-ups because I featured a lot of cover-ups this year and I've actually purchased a lot of cover-ups this year. There's been a lot of beach time this year, but I kind of come back to the same style of cover-up when I'm going to the beach and that is this white one which is more of a kimono style that ties in the front and then I have another one that's black. Same exact style, slightly different with the detail but same fabric, same style, same tie in the front. They're just easy. They're easy to get on, they're easy to get off. They're chic and sophisticated, but they're not too long. They're not, you're not tripping over them. I just feel like it's a great solid cover up when you actually are going to the beach. If I were doing a, you know, beach day to the kind of nice restaurant, I would go with something a little bit more dramatic, maybe a little bit longer, flowier, like the white dress, for example. But just for like a true beach day, and that's all I'm doing, I would definitely grab one of these two cover ups. They've really been great and I've used them a lot. And then lastly, I just wanted to talk about swimwear and what I'm wearing while I'm here. You know, not every time that you go to the beach do you actually sit out and spend time on the beach. And those times or those moments, I will wear a suit that is just a little bit more glamorous or a little bit more pretty, a little bit more design involved in the swimsuit. But here we're really just beaching it, you know what I mean? We're out there, we're committed in the sand, we're in the ocean. And so for that, I really didn't want tons of crazy tan lines. I knew that I was gonna be out in the sun quite a bit. So I've just been wearing a lot of the bandeau bikini tops and I have a few of them. And I, what I like about these bandos too is that they do have the sleeve where you can stick your arm in just for a little extra support. But then if you're actually on a beach chair, you can take the sleeve off and kind of just tuck it under your armpit. You don't even have to tuck it, just let it hang. That's a way to like get your arms even as well, your arm tan even. Okay, so those are some of the looks that I've worn on this trip. We've really enjoyed it. We've loved having our own little like apartment space and you know, I just, I just think it's been great. So if you guys have any other questions about Sea Island or this particular resort called The Cloister, just comment below, let me know. And if you have any questions about the looks, let me know those too. I will, as always, put the links to the looks in the description box. So don't forget to check the box if you are looking for something that I talked about. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.